I'm glad I caught you. I need to talk. My wife threw me out. Oh, Max, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I have to get going. We can talk about it first thing in group. No, wait, wait, wait. You can't go. Why not? I have something in my eye. Oh, it's like an army of fire ants are eating their way through my cornea. All right, let me look at it. Ooh, yeah, I see it. Okay, let me just get a paper clip. What? Huh? Yeah, remember, the brain is my playground. Now, come on. Hi, Claire. I happen to be in the neighborhood, and I just found out I was adopted. Really? Well, maybe your birth parents gave you up because you're such a bad liar. Wow. Already with the insights. I'm glad I found out in this neighborhood. Guys, are you trying to stall me from going to my other group? What? Are you trying to stall me from my other group? What? All right, I'm out of here, guys. Just lock up when you leave. Quick, grab her keys. Where are they? Watch her eyes. <laughs> Over there! Keep away, huh? I had two brothers. Let's dance. <laughs> this group? They all have high incomes and low self-esteem. If I was a plastic surgeon, I could clean up. You can be whoever you want. Get this. I've been telling people that I'm a manager of market research at my company, when really, I'm just an associate manager. I thought you already got that promotion. Yeah, but it doesn't kick in till Monday. Maybe I should promote myself from a guy who sets up websites? to a guy who sets up slightly better websites. <laughs> You're right. Who are we kidding? Any one of these guys is way more interesting than us. I mean, these are prominent people. Scientists, authors. Don't even get me started on that clown over there. Why? What's he do? I just told you. He's a prominent clown. But apparently, he's crying on the inside. <laughs> we can't compete with a guy like that. I mean... I could pull a quarter out of your ear, but only if it was really in there. <laughs> Face it, we, we, we've lost Claire. Come on, it's time to get back to Moonbase Alpha, or whatever we're calling my couch now. <laughs> no, Bob? No. We are men of action. No, Zach? No. We are men of giving up. Maybe men of getting something to eat on the way home. <laughs> if you could all take your seats, we'll begin. Thank you. What? Hey, what, hey, what are you, what are you doing? Oh! <gasps> I knew it. I knew you had a plan. Of course I had a plan. You think I'd just go around winking at Max? <laughs> Look, we know Claire is not going to leave this group, so we have to get the group to leave Claire. You're a loose cannon, dude. dude. If this was a cop movie, I'd be your partner, and you'd get me killed, like, one day before my retirement. <laughs> but I'd avenge you, buddy. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, Claire has been delayed, so she asked me, her colleague, uh, really more of her mentor, to sit in for about 17 minutes. And who are you? My name is Dr. Scholes. Oh, my God. Please? I've heard all the jokes. <laughs> Throw them to me. 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 I wasn't ready. Chocolo, you lose! And we can talk about how that makes you feel later on in group tonight. Now, let's go! Wait, wait, wait. I think my appendix burst. Yeah, yeah, walk it off. So, I've been taking Claire's advice and trying to stand up for myself. Good for you. You are really making progress. And I feel like I've become less of a pushover. Wow, you know what I think? I think you're cured. Off you go. Uh, but I'm not sure that Hey, I'm... hey, hey, you're cured. Now go, 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 go. Okay, who else wants some therapy? Oh, come on, don't be chicken. I see a short guy. That can't be easy for you, huh? Excuse me.
Excuse me. Your approach seems a little odd, to say the least. Hey, who's the doctor here, bub? You have problems with authority, don't you? <laughs> problems that are perhaps relieved by chronic self-love? This is ridiculous. You should be proud of yourself, a man your age. This isn't a problem. You should go home, lock your doors, and celebrate. <laughs> you, my friend, are cured. This man is no doctor. We should call security. All right, all right, all right. This, this has gone on far enough. Obviously, nobody thinks that this man is a doctor. He looks like some kind of a nut, a babbling idiot, a clown. No offense, Pepito. But his bumbling stupidity masks the genius of his clinical approach. We're all struggling with low self-esteem here, and now look. This man has us standing up for ourselves, ready to beat him to death with a chair leg. That's therapy, my friends. Yes, 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 we all know that I'm a great man, but you people are the real story here tonight because you are all cured, as cured as honey-baked hams. So on your way, all of you. And if you want to leave a couple of bucks on the way out, that'll just help me continue my great work. Claire's coming. What's going on here? Told you. This man says he cured us. He didn't. Uh oh. <laughs> These uh, gentlemen are from my other group. I I'd like you to step outside for a moment, please, while I speak to them privately. Well, this has been quite a circus. Again, sorry, Pepito. <laughs> this is way out of bounds. Besides being disrespectful to me, you're tampering with the mental health of other people. Claire's coming. No. <laughs> Sorry, Claire. You know, when, when we found out about this other group, we were worried you might leave us. But you had no reason to think that. Well, you did cancel on us last week. To spend more time with your uptown fancy pants friends, eating their fancy pants food and wearing their fancy pants. I had food poisoning. I threw up five minutes into their session. Guys, I am not going to leave you. Because we're your favorites? I don't think of it that way. But I I if you did... Right now wouldn't be the best time to press me on it. <laughs> Look, guys, despite the unannounced visits to my apartment, the announced visits to my apartment, the break-ins into my apartment, I still look forward to our sessions every week. Now, what does that tell you? That maybe it's time you gave us a key? <laughs> or that we're important to you and you're not going to leave us. Thank you. Bob, you're now my favorite. <laughs> All right. Check it out. Um, guys, if you'll excuse me, I really have to get back to my other group. Sorry, Claire. Yeah, me too. I guess it's up to me to stop this. Stop this. By the way, I'd like the record to show that the big guy beat Max here by two minutes. <laughs> never should have stopped to boast about my lead. <laughs> Promise this will never happen again. Who am I kidding? You're the best. There'll be a little extra meat in your envelope this week. <laughs> You can do this. I wrote through it. Don't say it with the dog accent. That's just going to confuse her. I love you. Feels weird like that. Yeah. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Let's just write Bob a card and sign the dog's name. <laughs> That's it. She said it. Or maybe she likes the card idea. <laughs> hey, Bob. Bob, come here. Uh, Maggie wants to tell you something. Yes, Maggie? Maggie, if anything were to happen to either you or Bob and you hadn't said this, you'd never forgive yourself. I love you, Bob. <laughs>